Shangon quotes from the Chibuku deposit in Zimbabwe. Very, very interesting piece. Um, see from a color perspective, it's overexposing slightly here. So let's go around like this first of all. There is a, a contact over here. We go around like this. Almost an elestial, but a whole lot of crystals growing out of one crystal. That is terminated. You'll see there, there's some matrix on top of that termination. And always struggles to find out which way they were, were lying in nature. There would have been another crystal, so perhaps it was even sitting like this. And then when we turn it over, we've got a totally different display of the same specimen. Now there's a termination on top there, some running across there. We have termination. So in effect it's doubly terminated, it's not quite a floater because it did have contact with the matrix here. And there's a, a point of contact on the, where is it, on this side as well, so close to the matrix. And it's a smoky amethyst from a color perspective. Let's just see if we can go into these, get a close up on those. Uh, if you look in that section, there's some lovely, that's where the, the fire of the, well, you'll, you'll have the Brandberg quartzes with all these fire, all this fire. These guys too have that. And that's, in my opinion, mainly caused by little uh, vugs which often contain trapped water come gas bubbles inside. Good size, almost a quarter, quarter hand size. All from Zimbabwe, the Chibuku deposit in the Zambezi Valley, Zimbabwe.